Double Diamond Railroad back, a rival track series 448, I think it is. And we just got this, walked out to the mailbox and got this one in. Been waiting for a week, went slow mail. It's a NS Rock Copper Ballast Car, whatever you want to call it. Add to my collection. Different style. It's like an older style. I got a couple of Herzogs over here, gondolas, and some new CSX type, and this is the older style, like a coal car. But you see on the bottom, only two outlets for putting ballast down. So that's probably going to go on a work train then. So pick that up on sale, Midwest Model Railroad. And That'll go good in this little work train I'm setting up back here with the CSX. Got them in the background, been doing some more testing over the weekend. Came down yesterday to check that track to see if there was power back here because of that switch. So I was checking this whole track through here from that switch down and running the SD70 Ace and it's fine I expect it to not work it's been two weeks it's been cutting out after it sits there I don't know if it's expansion or what but it worked and then I took uh, my foam q-tip and clean between the points on that switch and the one up here behind the SD70 because the CSX guy was stalling dead right on the switch hadn't done that before started uh, brushing it out here a little piece of white looked like ballast or something got between the point down in there brush that out of the way and then clean the points with alcohol on a q-tip and we're good then it ran fine after that now I got to pick these up cut the coupler wires off shorten them up same thing on this new guy and we're going to go down here and I see it looks like these joints aren't soldered on the through rail on the one closest to us back here on the switch so we're going to try that joints on both sides in and outside see if I can make that more reliable if that doesn't work now solder jumpers to the rails, outer to inner and stuff like that on the frog. Uh, it's not the the closure rail, I think they call it. We'll try that next if I have to. We'll see how this goes though. So anyway, if I can find it. I'm so zoomed in now. Here we go. Now we're getting ready, maybe in a couple weeks. We're going to ballast. Uh, probably do the yard first. Because I don't think I'm having any trouble with our test run again. Clean it, test run it, and then put ballast down. Do the whole yard again. Then we'll go back there and do the main line net siding. Because we don't want to do that if I'm still having electrical problems on the main. Try to get my camera down a little bit lower here. There. I was trying to see in the top of it, but you can't really see in the top. So we'll let it go at that. Pretty nice looking little car. Love the color. That's going to look great with weathering powders on it and stuff. And we'll fade it out a little bit too. Because they get a rough road when they're in service. That's an atlas. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. Have a great week. Boy, it's still hot and muggy in Ohio, East Central Ohio. Terrible. It's just, it's supposed to be a cool down later this week. I hope so. Take care. Double Dime Railroad out.